Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about how to uh, access the router of ENSP. Like uh, this is ENSP. This is Huawei software, and uh, we use this router for telnet configuration. But uh, we cannot use Huawei PC like uh, these devices. If we pick this device and connect to this router, and we cannot uh, telnet this router through this PC because this PC do not have any function. to uh, access uh, this telnet router so uh, we can use uh, an other router to telnet this router uh, because we uh, connect a link between this router and use this router to access this router but this pc cannot have any function in huawei ensp so uh, in this video uh, in my previous video i have uh, uh, told how to uh, uh, access this router through this router and other router or pc pc do not have any function so uh, through an other router in my previous video so you can go and watch the video but in this video we will learn how to access this router through my physical laptop like uh, in which you are open this uh, ensp huawei so that uh, physical device or physical pc or physical laptop you can access this huawei devices uh this like this router and uh, we use this router and access this router through this google cloud so this is the function in huawei device that uh, we can use and access these devices through our physical pcs through uh, to the uh, to do the telnet configuration or any other configuration through command prompt or uh, putty software so first of all you have to go and uh, in device manager device manager you have to create a loopback adapter so just go here in your pc and here in action and add legacy hardware so in you will find this uh, box and just do next and here install hardware that i manually added so just click this select this okay and then go next and here you will select the adapter network adapter so select this and do next and you will find here some uh config okay so here you have to select the microsoft because we use microsoft loop adapter so the model of this would be microsoft km test loop back adapter so select this and next this and uh, you will see here to start installing your new hardware click next and you can see here you will uh, create a new loop back adapter in your pc so after finish this you have to restart your pc and uh, after restart just go and restart your pc so after restart you will observe go here in network and internet setting in ethernet and change adapter setting here so after uh, restart you will observe that uh, you will create uh, this ethernet loopback adapter so you can see here Uh, i have created this adapter ethernet 4 so this is my previous adapter this is my now uh, adapter so uh, <coughs> now we go here in in google uh, here in google cloud in cloud and uh, just select these ports now just select uh, gigabit port and here udp port just add this and after that you have to click here so you will observe here ethernet 3 adapter i did not uh, uh restart my pc because i am making a video for you so just go and restart your pc so you will observe here ethernet 4 adapter as well like we made here change adapter setting so you will observe this as well because this is my previous one so i will use that and after restart just uh, open it and go here and uh, go in uh, internet setting and use uh, the following menu ip address so just go here and give here the ip address of your choice and the ip address of this device subnet mask and the gateway gateway would be the same as that uh, the routers uh, interface ip address so just i am going to uh, cut this i will use this one so just i have given the ip address to this Uh, adapter as well so you can see here 
एंड ऑट हंड्रेड इज दिस डिवाइस माई फिजिकल डिवाइस लाइक आई एम यूजिंग लैपटॉप एंड दिस डिवाइस आई पी एड्रेस दिस इज सबनेट मार्क एंड दिस आई पी एड्रेस इज राउटर्स इंटरफेस आई पी एड्रेस बिकॉज राउटर्स विल बी द गेट वे फॉर मी और ओके जस्ट लाइक ओके एंड कट दिस गो इन यूर ई एन एस पी एंड जस्ट सेलेक्ट दिस सो जी ई पोर्ट जस्ट सेलेक्ट दिस पोर्ट जी इथरनेट थ्री इन यूर केस यू कैन यूज थ्री और फोर आफ्टर रिस्टार्ट यूर पी सी एंड गिव दैट लूप बैक अडाप्टर आई पी एड्रेस एंड गेट वे एड्रेस एंड सेलेक्ट दैट वन और आई पी विल बी और फ्यूर चॉइस वाट एवर यू वॉन्ट सो जस्ट सेलेक्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग दिस वन ओके जस्ट एड दिस वन सो यू कैन सी हेयर सो दिस टू पोर्ट्स हैज बीन एडिड नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस जी ई पोर्ट एंड सेलेक्ट टू एंड मेक क्रिएट अ टू वे चैनल एंड एड दिस वन यू विल ऑब्जर्व चेंजिंग हेयर सो आई हैव जस्ट एडिड दिस आई पी एड्रेस वन नाइन्टी टू वन सिक्सटी एट टेन फिजिकल डिवाइस आई पी एंड टेन डॉट वन नाइन्टी टू वन सिक्सटी एट टेन डॉट वन विल बी द राउटर्स गेट वे सो नाउ आई विल कनेक्ट दिस विद माई राउटर सो आई जस्ट कनेक्ट दिस एंड नाउ आई विल गो इन राउटर इन सिस्टम व्यू सिस्टम व्यू एंड हेयर इन दिस इंटरफेस जी जीरो जीरो वन इंटरफेस गीगा बिट इथरनेट जीरो स्लैश जीरो स्लैश जीरो एंड आई पी एड्रेस वुड बी वन नाइन्टी टू वन सिक्सटी एट टेन डॉट वन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस इज द गेट वे आई पी एड्रेस थ्रू दिस क्लाउड आई विल एक्सेस दिस पी सी बिकॉज दिस इज माई गेट वे सो माई फिजिकल मशीन टू दिस क्लाउड एंड दिस क्लाउड टू दिस राउटर आई विल डू दी टेलनेट कन्फिग्रेशन नाउ वी विल गो and enable some telnet configuration so uh, telnet server enable so just do telnet configuration you can do uh, anything else as well so i just uh, going to do a telnet because uh, we can easily access that uh, through the telnet so telnet server enable okay triple uh, a first of all we do some configuration of triple a we create a local user local user uh, test we are testing test password will be in cipher form and password will be huawei 123 okay a local user and now the local user service type test test service type telnet okay local user test privilege level privilege level will be 3 okay 15 maximum level okay 13 or 15 uh, anything now we go back and create a user interface for telnet vty user interface vty 0 to 4 uh, authentication mode as our triple a authentication mode triple a okay we just uh, uh, do the authentication mode as a triple a so now we will uh, go here in our uh, device you have to install a putty software so you can find putty software easily from internet so just uh, i have already start just open your putty software and select here uh, other and telnet here so just uh, write the ip address of that router 10.1 so this is why my gateway uh, ip address so just open it so you will see here you can uh, access that router so i will uh, uh, Insert a uh, username. Username was test. Local username test and password was Huawei. One, two, three. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Test and password was Huawei. One, two, three. So now you can see here I am in router. So I will I can go in system view as well because I have the privilege privilege level of fifteen. Uh, So now I am in a uh, system view so I can go in interface as well first of all I will change the name system name as R1 and uh, go in interface G00 001 and if I display this display this okay display this you, so you can see here the IP address that I configure on my uh, router in ENSP so you can see here you can also uh, uh, observe the effect here as well so just go here so now you can see here if we quit back so now you can see here i have just changed the name of router as r1 so 
so you can also change the uh, name or anything else whatever you want so this how we can uh, access this router through our physical machine because uh, uh, Huawei's devices like uh, Huawei's PC here do not have any function of uh, doing telnet in our previous video I have told that uh, Huawei device uh, if you connect this device this router with this PC so you cannot telnet uh, this uh, router through this PC you can yes you can telnet through another router as I told in our previous video you can go and watch the uh, whole and uh, full video of uh, telnet configuration so this is the video that uh, we can uh, access this router through our physical machines and uh, we can do another thing we can use display as well like uh, user interface uh, through our physical machine uh, to this these routers as well we can use okay and uh, that's all for today's video so hope you like the video if you have any questions so you can ask in comment so thank you very much